Anyways, let's take a look at the paper. Go ahead, Makoto, open it up. When I think about it, it was stuffed down his pants like... It better be important, Ifumi, or I'll never forgive you for this. A note? I found a hole maybe we can use it to escape. Monokuma can't find out, so don't tell anyone else for now. Let's meet at the equipment room at 6 a.m. It sounds very familiar. That's it! It's the same thing Hiro said! Then, he was telling us the truth! Although, it is not exactly the same, is it? Uh, oh. Last night, someone slipped a weird note under my door. And here's what it said. I found a hole maybe we could use to escape. Monokuma can't find out, so don't tell anyone else for now. Let's meet at the rec room at 1 a.m. It's in the, the time is different. Hiro told us the note said to meet at 1 a.m., but the note they wrote to Hifumi, I asked him to meet at 6 a.m. Right? Hold on, just because Hifumi had the note doesn't mean it was meant for him. Huh? Part of it has been torn off, right? I think there's slightly some meaning there. There's some meaning to the part that's been ripped? Hmm, could you maybe explain a little more? How is Nagi so dumb? Like, it's clear that that it's originally Taka's note, the, the one that they gave to Taka because he held on to it. Uh, Hifumi just ripped it off him and then uh, hit the note so nobody would know that it was true. Think carefully. Why do you have been clutching the scrap of paper so tightly. I, I have no idea. What if it wasn't just a scrap of paper when he was holding it? What if it was something more important? And how about something important like that would become a mere scrap of paper? That's what you need to answer. The note to Fumi had had been added to the truth bullet section in the handbook. And while you're at it, should I tell you one other thing? The two victims this time definitely had their e-handbooks on them. So, the handbooks have nothing to do with how the murders were carried out. Not that there was any reason to think they were connected to the killings in the first place. So, you're saying I don't have to think about the e-handbooks this time, right? If you don't have to think about them at all, I wouldn't have gone out of the way to mention it. All I have to say is that they weren't used to carry out any of the murders. They may have come a point where a handbook may play a role. A handbook may play a role? I don't think... I understand, but if Kyoko thinks it's important, I better keep it in mind. Oh, when they stuff um, what's his name in the in the box? What's his name? Uh, Yasuhiro. Dong. Are you excited? Are you pumped? It's time for the class trial to begin! I don't know why, but when he said that, all I thought it was this meme. Give me a second. Are you gonna cry? Gonna piss your pants, maybe? Maybe shit and come? That's, that's what it reminded me of. Like the bright burst of fireworks. Like the flash of a soul clashing with life and death. And so, with no further ado... Everyone, please meet at the usual spot. Make your way to the red door on the first floor of the school. As always. See you soon. See you soon. It would seem... It's unfortunate, but I suppose it's where our investigation comes to an end. You'll have to figure out the rest for yourself and come to a proper conclusion. I mean, I'm gonna have to. Makoru has no idea what's going on. Haiki has no idea what's going on. Yeah, you're right. Shall we go? He was given all the information clearly to like what he has to do, and he still doesn't know what he has to do. Oof. Makoru is like, bruh. Think, bruh. Think. Well, we better get going. Uh, okay. Enter the red doors. Everyone that had heard Monokuma proclamation had they had gathered at the red door, and as soon as they were all here, Monokuma appears. Hello, hello, hello. They they multiplied. 
Nope, not multiplied. We just took the weight because of an illusion. I'm moving so fast, it looks like I've multiplied. <laughs> Can you guys tell which one is the real Monokuma? Can we just get on the elevator already? We're not playing along. Along, along. We're not here to play with you. Okay, okay, fine. Then if everyone's here and ready to go, please board the pain train. Uh, elevator. I'll see you guys down there. Let's go. Okay then, shall we? Please. Hold on, I'm not mentally prepared yet. You'll never be mentally prepared. You can't run away anymore, hero. You're gonna pay for your sins. I already told you already, I didn't do it for serious. That reminds me, did you ever find the other costume or the note? Um, well, no, but... How unfortunate, then, it would seem that our culprit... Hey. This is not the place to talk about it. Save your accusations so we can get to the courtroom. She's right. Let's get down there first. Then the story can really begin. Yeah, good idea. That's right. I have to... I have to do it. I can't let whoever killed Yufumi and Taki get away with it. For everyone who's still alive, and for those who have lost their lives. The one who killed Ifumi and Taka, the ones who killed the, of our friends, the killer is someone right here. Oof. Damn, I, did, I, I didn't even click, get to click on anyone. I just automatically just clicked the door. Wow. Wow. All right. The doors closed on their own. The steel box began to move. The clunking of the elevator kept us company as we fell further down. There's no going back. Until we settled down, we couldn't go anywhere. I'm not sure how long it was before the elevator finally came to a stop. The elevator door slid open, opening up to a crucial fate. Cruel fate. <laughs> when I see you all gathered together like this, I realize just how few of you there are left. Your school life is slowly reaching its climax. Only because of you. Why? Why are you making us do such a cruel thing to, to each other? What? What? Do you really hate me so much? But I'm so cute. Come on. And stop goofing around. Begin the trial. Don't rush me. Of course I'm gonna start it. I would never, like, stay attuned for the action-packed class trial after commercial break. After commercial break, you say? I never hold out on you like that. Okay, let's begin. Let your scut to your assigned seats. And so the curtain opened once again. A deadly judgment, a deadly deception, a deadly betrayal. A deadly riddle, a deadly defense, a deadly fate, a deadly crass trial. The trial begins, all right. Let's begin with a basic explanation of the class trial. So, your votes will determine the results. If you can figure out who done it, then only they will receive punishment. But if you pick the wrong one, then I'll punish everyone besides the blackened, and the one that deceived everyone else will graduate. Mm -hmm. Now then, to begin with, we already know who did it. Was that? Was that? It was Hero. He does not have an alibi for when the murders took place, and we found him in that suit. Don't try and deny it. You killed them. I didn't! Someone knocked me out! I, I was asleep the whole time! I don't know anything about it! Shut your murdering mouth, murderer! That's funny, coming from you. Ironic. Who are you calling a murderer? I am sorry to say, Hero, but we do have evidence. Blueprints for the suit. Parts we assume were used to build it. And all of it was found in your room. You have to admit, the evidence is quite compelling. It points to you as having created the suit. And it was wahoo, wahoo! Crime after crime. 
Damn, I just messed up her delivery. It points to you having created the suit and wearing it while committing crime after crime. How many times do I have to tell you? I... I... I don't know, I don't know, I don't know! Is, is Hero really the killer or... Before anything else, we have to make that clear. All right. Okay. Okay. Everything we found in your room. The blueprints, the suit parts, they are all proof enough that you are the culprit. Damn it. I don't know anything about that stuff. It's not true. It's a conspiracy. Hero, why? Why did you kill them? No! Just hold on a second! Compelling evidence that Hero's the killer. Is that really true? Everything we right. found in your room. The blueprints. Okay. The uh, so, no, that's wrong! Are we sure Hero really made those blueprints? That's right. It was Hifumi. Well, take a look at this. It's the note that Hero wrote, asking everyone to meet up after Alter Ego disappeared. The handwriting's obviously different, wouldn't you say? Yes. When you compare it to the blueprints. Thank you. You're finally saying something smart, Nagi. Meanwhile, we're going in the background, don't worry about it. Let's just stop and talk for a while until it's over. Okay, it's gone for a second. Unless that person made it a point to disguise their handwriting. No, the differences are bigger than that, I think. Come on! I'm not smart enough to think of trying to change my handwriting anyway. Lol. So, Makoto, are you saying you don't think Hero's the culprit? That's obviously what I'm saying. Not the only one. I think Hero is innocent as well. Yeah. What? Who was in that Robo Justice suit? Is it like Hero said? Was there really someone running around in a second suit? No, we could assume that the suit was made, created, and then posed with, captured by the camera, made it look like he, uh, Hero was in it, but then he was not. That is what I'm assuming. There's no second suit, though. There might be, but I'm not sure. The suspicious individual hidden within the suit. Go ahead, Makoto. Tell them who it was. It was definitely Hero. And of course he passed it off to me. Who was in the Robo Justice suit? A uh, suspicious individual in question is Hero. I got it. Other than Hero, I can't think of anyone else it could have been. Obviously he was the one in that particular suit. And we never found any kind of second suit. Then there can be no doubt. Hero is the prime suspect. You say that. Make any sense. You just said Hero didn't do it. He didn't say he said he didn't do the crime. He never said he wasn't in the suit. That is the difference. It makes perfect sense. Hero was the suspicious individual in the suit, but he's not the culprit. Yes. So what you're saying is that's right. The culprit in this case has nothing to do with being in the Robo Justice suit. Yes. Now that's a bold assumption. Funny of you to say that. Reason you have to make such a statement? You do have a reason, yes? Of course. But before we get to that. Of course. But before we get to that. There's something else we need to clarify first. So let's get that out of the way. Hey, stop trying to boss us around! No, he, he definitely can. Things have a proper order. Self-defense. What is it? What needs to be clarified? We must clarify the method of transportation for Taka's lifeless body. Okay. It would seem that his corpse was moved using certain particular items. It would seem that his corpse was moved using the certain particular items. Makoto, can you tell us what they were? Uh, things that were used to move Taka's body, they would have been blue tarp. Um, there's still one more thing. The thing I used Taka would have been. Where's the dolly?
Wait, what? Oh, there it is. Yikes. They were a dolly and a tarp, right? Yep. <laughs> Why is he mad? What's your dad attitude? So, let's see if I can explain. Papa's body disappeared from the equipment room. And then we rediscovered it in the repository. And when we found it for the second time, it was wrapped in a blue tarp, right? It was the same tarp that up until then was stored in the equipment room. Yes. So the killer must have seen it there and decided to use it when they moved Taka's body. Mm hmm That way, they wouldn't leave any bloodstains while they were moving it. Okay, that explains the tarp and the dolly. Mm-hmm. The tarp and the dolly. Same thing. I'm sure the dolly was in the equipment room when we first found Taka's body there. But when the body disappeared, so did the doll. Later, when Taka's body reappeared in the repository, so did the doll. Yes. In other words, you think they used the dolly to move the body, am I right? Yes. But are you sure you are not mistaken? Huh? Are you absolutely positive the dolly was in the equipment room when we found Taka's body? Yes, it was the bloodstream. The dolly was made specifically for moving large objects between the repository and the art room. It would be very strange indeed to discover it had made its way to the equipment. Yeah. Is it not ¿Qué vas a pelear tú? in the repository all along and you simply didn't realize it? She's raised an objection. How do you respond? Look at that smug Biakuyo. Nobody expects much from you anyway. Damn, the roast. Also, Biakuyo already knows what happened. He already put it all together, and that's why he's being condescending and helping uh, Celeste. He likes the thrill. Ooh, damn. Wow, I've never had anyone sound so nice while being so mean. But maybe I can change your mind. If I can explain to them why the dolly must have been moving the quick mode to the repository. Alright, moment of truth. You had it wrong. I cannot agree. You are a fool. So pathetic. Lies will get you nowhere. Do your worst. You miserable wretch. I cannot agree. You are a fool. Do your worst. You have it wrong. I cannot agree. You are a fool. So pathetic. Lies will get you nowhere. Do your worst. You miserable wretch. You are a fool. Do your worst. You miserable wretch. You have it wrong. I cannot agree. You are a fool. So pathetic. Lies will get you nowhere. Do your worst. You miserable wretch. I cannot agree. You are a fool. Do your worst. You have it wrong. I cannot agree. You are a fool. Ah, yeah, yeah. Do your worst. You miserable wretch. I cannot agree. You are a fool. Do your worst. Oh, can you not? Oh my gosh. I cannot agree. Um This should prove it.
Oh, that was stressful. You're asking for proof that the dolly moved. I have it right here. Yep. When I found the dolly in the repository, one of the wheels had a blood stain. There was a pool of blood in the equipment room with a tire mark in it that matched the dolly wheel's tread. Mm -hmm. The killer probably rolled the dolly through the blood on accident as they wheeled the body out of the room. And as the blood dried on the tire, they moved the body into the repository. Yep. Here's my proof that the dolly was used to move Taka's body. Of course. Yep. Jeez, does Celeste really hate me that much?